It's a while since I've had one of these little solar key rings to bits, and these things are notorious for being completely fake. Sometimes they actually have the solar panel connected to an actual rechargeable cell, but usually it's a CR2032 non-rechargeable cell, and sometimes the solar panel is there but not connected to it, and sometimes it's a completely fake solar panel. So, you know, it looks the part, it lights, but once the battery's flat, it's going to be completely dead. So I, I got this one from, oh, blimey, S-H-E-N-C-H-I-A-S-E-N-3. Cost 99 pence, so I'm not really expecting an awful lot. I just thought it'd be interesting to take it apart and see what it looks like. So let's zoom in just a little bit. I know zooming annoys some of you who have big TVs and it just gets too big, but this is for the people who are watching on very small screens. So I'm guessing that this is going to come apart. They always look like they're really well sealed because they really close really tightly, but usually if you get a spudger in at the back and use enough force, it does part. So let's see what's inside this one. Ooh. That's one side open. We can always live in hope it may actually be a real solar panel and it may actually be connected to a real rechargeable cell with no charge protection circuitry. But I think, uh, I think, yeah, uh, what you expect for 99p really. Okay, what have we got? The solar panel is connected to what looks like little classic sleeved non recharge Oh, the, the other side of the solar panel is connected via a diode. Um, is this rechargeable cell? It's an LIR2032, so that is a rechargeable cell. That's nice. Uh, what's that voltage, open circuit voltage will this put out? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sections, I think. And a sort of half section in there. So that's going to put out about 4.5 volts, minus the diode gives roughly about 4 volts. So they might just be relying on that to avoid overcharging the cell. And likewise, the I, I don't see any resistor here. So really the button is just shunting the LEDs straight across the cell, but then it'll have a modest internal resistance and the LEDs themselves will sort of start turning off around about the three volt uh, downwards version sort of area. So um, it's real, that's quite nice. I wonder how much current that solar panel would put out. It's almost at 99 pence it's worth buying just for the little solar panel, isn't it? And the rechargeable cell. Uh, that's a good source of components. So this one, uh, yep, it does appear to be real. Uh, that's nice. That makes a refreshing change for these ones.